<laughs> Good evening, everyone. This is Cheryl, Sheila, and we are bringing Judy, our guest presenter tonight, I guess is the way we'll put it. And we are going to be on Craft Around the Clock TV on Facebook, Craft Around the Clock on Facebook, and uh, several other pages that we are streaming to. And we are on Craft Around the Clock TV right now. And I'm sure Tracy will share us over to the others. You guys can always join us all, all places, Crafty. Um, Sheila's page is Sweetie's Creation. And she and I are the hostesses for Craft Crush. Hey, De uh, Sandy, how are you? Sandy. Lisa. Hey, Lisa. hey, Lisa Hawkins. Hey, Mary T. And then Judy is with Wyatt's Whatnots. And she is from Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. Hey, De Denise G. So we are. We probably will be picking up comments from a little bit of everywhere. We have different... Um, devices so we can all hopefully see things and there's my uh hubby he's gonna give us grief i know thank you for I spreading know. thank you for spreading the blessings mary and you I guys hold it, everybody on, how do you hold? On my page let me see if i can see him on crap around the clock okay um we do want to make sure that yeah i don't see it on crap around the clock specific but craft around the clock tv we're there so we're on we're on sandy's page we on sandy's page hello I don't, tracy I, how are you thank you for having this platform for us we hope we're in all places correctly hey LaRonda. hey beth beth is with the crafty ad she's a craft uh 30 hostess hey robin young hello I don't, pauline from the uk i don't hey, see Lisa no do I get to see comments? Or? You probably won't see them. That's okay. why I'm going to try to moderate them for you so you can do okay. your craft. Now, okay. we're going to let Judy introduce herself, her business, and then she's going to tell you just a little bit about her business, like when she started it and how she came about what she's going to work with. Hey, Shelly Ann. Hey, Shelly Ann. You Hello, want to start Ms. now? All of us sweet ladies. Yes, you can go ahead and start, oh. Judy. <laughs> Okay. My name is Judy. I own uh, Wyatt Whatnots. Um, I've had my page for 13 years. Um, I just noticed that when I started doing lives. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> I had it because I did a lot of craft fairs and a craft shows. I can't see. Craft shows and everything. So I would post on my page where I'm going to be, what I'm going to do, you know, all that stuff. So um, that's how I came about my page. And then in 2020, then uh, COVID hit and uh, I have COPD. So I, my boss asked me to take time off. So I never returned, but I can, but I can't, you know, kind of thing. Um, Cause I can't do the work anymore because of it. And uh, he didn't want me to catch anything. So uh, I decided, okay, well, I'll stay home. And then for the, the government here in Canada had a a CERB, it was called CERB, that if you couldn't work, you could get it. Like, it was like unemployment. So oh. I got that for a year, um, but that was all. So now I just, you know, live on love, you know. <laughs> so anyways, so I decided to do lives. And because I, I started because I had nothing to do. So I started watching everybody. And I think the first person I probably saw was Amber and um, Wilshire Collections. Wilshire. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think those are the first two I, I really saw. And I said, hey, I can do that. I like to talk. I can do crafts. <laughs> so then I just started lives and. To me, it was nothing like I wasn't scared or anything, you know, first time or sometimes they're scared and stuff, but you just got to jump in there and do it. Just pretend you're talking to yourself in a mirror. You pretty much. Well, or, you do. You yeah, do talk yeah. to yourself. Yeah, you do. And uh, <laughs> unless you have imaginary friends. <laughs> now, that's so, a whole different ball game. Right? Oh, yeah. Me and my gnomes. <laughs> Those are your gnomes. Yeah. So then I started doing that. I like to re... Um, how you say refurbish stuff, redo stuff. Um, I I started off. I did like jewelry. I still do jewelry boxes. 
I do jewelry boxes, boxes, uh, bread boxes. I did a lot of bread boxes. And then I got into paddles. And then I got into uh, fan blades. I always sold fan blades. But now I got into gnomes. So I've been painting gnomes for the last, gosh, year and a half. So I've been doing that. So that's about how I got into it. So. All right. Mm -hmm. So Sheila is going to do probably a small craft and she'll, you want to tell us what you're going to be doing, Sheila? I am just doing a ball jar tonight and I am going to be using this cute um, little beehive. I got this free. This is one of the free sites. You can print these out. This is regular paper, nothing fancy. And then I put the Tim Holtz vintage photo. Miss Tracy will be proud of me because she <laughs> loves this as well. She got me hooked on this. I'm now, now I'm hooked on the distress outsides and I have to get them every time they're on sale. And then I've got these little transfers from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to try them out. They probably aren't going to be like other transfers, but you know, for $1.25, might as well try them out and see how it works. I, I've tried those. They do work pretty good. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and paint my jar, finish painting it with the uh, Waverly Cashew. Okay. And guys, uh, if you guys have any questions that you want us to ask Judy, just put them in the comments and I will pick up on those as far as, uh, you know, other things. I may not get to speak to everyone, but we will go back and make sure that you guys, uh, all your messages. And that's why I am keep looking down every once in a while is my laptop so that we can see more comments and, and easier because this old girl has old eyes. So um, we'll just go with that. Miss Judy, what are you working on? Were you working on a fan blade? Yeah, I'm going to make a Santa. Oh, cute. I did a little bit before because I, I have to uh, shade and make it, and I got to finish up here. So, What made you start doing um, gnomes? You know what? I don't know. I think probably watching Justin. Like, I've made some, uh, I made some gnomes myself, you know, like that. And, okay. um, and then on Justin's live, I was at Justin and we did this little guy. Oh, oh adorable. Isn't that cute? He's got a little flower on his boot. It's kind of like a little hippie guy. So, uh, I don't know. I was just playing around because I, well, because I do lots of Santas, right? And I said, oh, my gosh, the Santas look like gnomes. <laughs> so that's uh, why. Yep. Peggy, Jim, uh, Judy lives in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. Thank you, Petra, for helping out. We appreciate you, girl. It's a nickel city of the world. It's a mining town. It's not as busy. There's quite a few mines that have closed now. It's a nickel and gold town. But back in the day, it was like booming mm. oh we were cool. gonna ask you about that oh cool that well, i guess that's what sudbury's known for huh yeah and piece of note when that when you when they went to the moon the astronauts came here to go on the rocks because it's oh, to very, get used to very it. rocky here and the wow. astronauts yeah the astronauts came here to uh train see you guys so, you're gonna hear everything tonight so so all i do is i dip the corner of my brush it's a little wet and i dip it in the black <laughs> and then i'm just gonna like shade it if it's easier to lay it down judy i think we can see you okay yeah judy yeah. what's your weather like people want to know uh today it was about it's cloudy now and it's about Mm, 70. We've, oh, had a very, wow. we've had a very cool summer. 70 we're, Fahrenheit? We're coming to visit you. Yeah. You're too far north for me to come visit. Our winters are crazy, though. Yeah. Last year it was like, well, this is in Celsius, though, right? No. You're Fahrenheit? Yes, we're Fahrenheit. Okay. So last year, the winter was really cold. It was like minus... Anywhere from minus 20 to minus 45. Holy cow. Yeah. I think I'm staying in the United States. Sorry. Yeah. It was a very, very cold winter. No snow, though. 
So Judy, do you get out much in the winter or do you just, y'all just try to have things stored up so that you don't have to get out as much? I send Bob. Send Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne says Sudbury has over three, 300 lakes within the city limits. Marianne is Judy's sister, guys, if you don't recognize the same, one of the names the same. And if you guys are showing up, if we don't say anything, you may be showing up as a Facebook user. We don't see everyone's name unless you give StreamYard the rights to pr actually print your name. And that you can do that by by clicking on it and it should let you do that. So just so you know, if we, you know, see your question and ask it, um, but we don't say who asked it, chances are we might not know who did. We thank everybody for being on here today. Um, you're from Ontario, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Sandra Baird says. Oh, hello. I used you're to live in Cornwall, Ontario. Ooh. That's where my daughter is. See, you find out neighbors and don't even know it, right? Yeah, it's about an hour, 15 minutes from Cornwall. So that's not bad. No. Easy enough to go for a day, huh? Yeah, when I lived in Cornwall, um, I, we lived there like 30-some years. Well, we lived on the outskirts. It was a border town, and it was New York State. So right across the state was... um. Gosh, Marianne will know. Well, one, there was two bridges, one not far away, and one was Augensburg, New York, and one was, my sister will probably tell you because I don't remember. And then um, we were an hour and a half from Montreal. We were about an hour and 15 minutes from Cornwall, and we were about two hours from Kingston. So it was uh, pretty good. Messina, New York. That's it. I <laughs> and you are, you would know. You're right. Who told us? Um, <laughs> Judy, how long have you and Bob been together? Well, that's a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Just all the years together. What is... <laughs> no, no, I have to tell you. Uh, <laughs> 41 years in September. Wow, that's a long time. And we didn't even know each other hardly when we met. That doesn't make wow. sense, but he worked in a <laughs> in a campground, and mom had a tr my mom and my stepdad had a trailer there. I was engaged, anyways. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, he would go up and down the road, up and he was a maintenance guy, up and down the road, and then he'd say, "Do you want to go out?" No. Anyways, Doug and I weren't getting along, so we ended up breaking up. So then Bob got going up and down the road. Do you want to go out? Are you paying? No, I'm not going out. This must have happened about 15 times. So one time, are you going to pay? Yes. Okay, we'll go out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I met his mom once. And then the second time I met her, I said, do you want to come to a wedding? She goes, whose? I said, your son's. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and we met in, I think that was July, and we got married September 12th. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's and I lasted pregnant. this long. It's lasted this yeah. long. We have a yeah. gal from Georgia, June Haddix, that said that she was in Canada from May 29th to June 9th, but she wants to go back as soon as she got to home to Georgia in the heat. So oh, wow. She was. Well, can attest to that. Sheila's from Alabama and I am a girl from Arkansas, but I'm a transplant to the Southwest suburbs of Chicago is where I live now. So, um, your weather has been hot. Our, we were hot. We were like in the mid nineties, a couple of days and our humidity was real high. Now Sheila has been hot for many, many weeks already. It's in the nineties here with a hundred degree heat index. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> now air conditioner went out in the house and then my air conditioner oh. went out in half of on half of my car on my half it went out. So I'm driving a car with that heat. Oh my god. Sounds like you uh Judy Robin Young and I know she's from East Tennessee. She said she met her husband on October 28th and married him on November 16th and they've been together 20 or 42 years. I know. Wow. So now Judy, I know something about you that 
not everybody knows. What did you oh. and Bob used to do as a side business? <laughs> She's got a picture. She's going to show you guys. Oh, man. I learned this when I first started watching Judy. And somebody asked, Judy, do you always paint your gnomes freehand or do you sketch them? And I know the answer to that, but why don't you tell them? No, I, I just draw them. So she freehands everything. Yeah. She's tried a couple of times sketching it out, but mm -mm. she ends up going back. to go outside the lines anyway, so why bother? Yep. Okay. So you know that saying, you know that saying, what, um, when you live with someone, you start looking like them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. Can you guys see that? There's the okay, wedding picture wait. and then what they used to okay, do. This is, is when I got married. Bob had hair, and he had an afro and sideburns. I always yeah. tell Bob he gets two for the price of one because I was half the size. And then this is us. Wow, that is so cute. And the reason I've known that is because Judy dressed up a couple of times in her clown costume as a oh, clown. Oh, yeah, I did it. Here's a... I knew you were going to ask me, so... See, <laughs> she's ready. See, that's, that's not everybody doesn't know that about Judy, but I do, and we love her for it. So. <laughs> yeah, we don't. A lot of people don't know how much fun Miss Judy is. <laughs> she's okay. a hoot. Now, how many how many grown children do you have, Judy, and grandkids? I have two two kids. I have Amy and Mitchell. Okay, you're gonna ask me the age, and I'm not. No, gonna I'm. Do... I'm not gonna do that. I won't be okay. mean. I they're won't growing. Be mean to Amy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're growing. They have kids. Amy has four kids, so they range like two, four, seven, and nine, or something like that. I might. I'll probably frig up the ages. So she has, she has three girls and a boy, and then my son. We've been waiting forever. He's been married about seven years, and he had, he had a little boy last year. Oh, no, he yeah. had it in um, early part of 2021. He had one. Two, yeah, four, seven, and eight and a half, Judy. Oh, she, she corrected me, did she? Yes, she did. Okay, what are they? What's that? What did she say? She said two, four, seven, and eight and a half. Hi, Mama. Oh, I was close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guys, if you didn't hear me when we first started, we are the Craft Crush. It's hosted by, right now, by Sheila from Sweeties Creations and myself. I'm Cheryl from MNC Treasures. And we are a part of Craft Around the Clock TV. We are definitely on the Craft Around the Clock TV Facebook page tonight. We are on the original brainchild's page uh which is sandy from debbie sandy design co is on with us tonight in the comments and uh we are getting streamed to several different places so if you catch us anywhere be sure and say hey and if you're from somewhere other than those few places let us know where you're watching us from thank, thank you rj you to, to sandy sandy is awesome we've learned a lot from sandy and we we love her just like a sister as oh, well as fantastic. as well as Miss Tracy. Yes. And that it the Crafter on the Clock group is Tracy's, the whole umbrella of all the TVs, the everything. So um, you know, you can always if you go to the Crafter on the Clock group, you can join it. Um thinking if I can put no, I can't on my page, I could put the, the uh, link, but I can't, I don't know how to do it on StreamYard. We're using StreamYard because we just you kind of have to if you get very many people together. So um, let me see if I can. Uh... Sheila's got another device pulled up just in case we all went crazy bonkers and everything didn't work. We've got people on here from Florida. Craft around the clock is great because if you can't sleep, you go there and you watch. That's right. <laughs> Plenty to do. Mm -hmm. Well, we're back. I don't know what you did, Sheila. That's not good. Oh, I hadn't done it. Oh. We I'm all still, went black. Oh, oh I'm still here. <laughs> I, I, was I, getting, didn't do any, I was just trying to find the... Oh. 
these things keep popping. That's okay. We'll just, we won't worry about it. So, so Judy, tell us what you're doing now on your Mr. Gnome. Okay. So I just did his nose and I shaded his wrong way, his hat. And I gave his nose a dimension. Okay. So now we're going to do his beard. We're going to do it these. Usually I use, oh, my beards take a long time, so we're not going to do it that way. We I usually use like a, a brush like this, a liner brush, and I do it one by one. But you can buy these brushes. They're called fan brushes. They're for, uh, no, they're not. They're called rake brushes. And they're for fur or beards or anything. They're great. So we're going to use that instead. Okay. Um, Judy, Judy Miss, Missy, she is a star at taking whatever she has on hand and making beautiful things out of it. She, like she said, she loves to upcycle, refurb, rehab, everything and anything. Uh, and she is using fan blades, ceiling fan blades right now. They watch for anybody that is, um, no, I'm not crafting, Miss Pauline. They watch for any body that's thrown out uh, ceiling fans and they stop and they grab all the, the boards because Judy loves to paint on them. So okay. I'm crafting Miss Pauline. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Penny is from Kentucky and everybody is sprinkling us out. Thank you. Miss Judy, Marla wants to know, Marla Fishko wants to know, did you go to clown school? No. Um, you know what? There are some really good clown conventions, which we could never afford to go. Um, in the Blue Ridge Mountains, there's like a really good, good one there. And um, the Barney Bailey clowns go there and teach there. Um, the one who taught us <coughs> was from Ottawa. And he was a, he's, um, you guys have to look him up. His name's, his name is fizzle pop and he lives in bc now and he does the best red skeleton you can ever see he 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 redoes him but he's also fizzle pop the clown and he's amazing he can ride unicycles he can ride everything he's met buttons the clown he's met you know all those guys anyways he taught us in ottawa so when we clown bob I face painted. Okay, what Bob Bob can blow up balloons by mouse. I can't. <laughs> I did a couple times, but um, I use a pump. So I'll I'll do balloons, and I face painted, and uh, depending what it went through different things. Bob did the face painting. He didn't care for it, but he would rather do balloons and magic, like very simple kids clown magic i guess you call it he so, would do that so that's why you guys uh are like a two-person show basically yeah yeah thank and you miss tracy she listed all of our links on here for everybody all three of you. us and then but, shelly ann says she is watching you too sheila okay but, thank you shelly ann hello Oh, but, uh, Amy I can't see comments, y'all. I'm so sorry, but I will go back and look for them on my page. Amy said you juggled, too. Yeah, I did at one time. Now, I have to tell you, Judy, I'm scared of clowns, but uh -huh. I love the, the clowns like you do where they have the smiling faces and the happy faces. I'm not scared of those. But growing up, when we'd go to the circus, I was scared of the clowns. <laughs> well, there's... um. But it's the sad ones. I the happy ones that that have, you know, the cute clothing and the happy ones. I love mm -hmm. them. So I was, I was an goose clown. So an goose clown is one who is very, very bright, very, very colorful, and their faces are like my face that I showed you. Bob yeah, was a character. Bob was a character clown. Um. <clears throat> So much kind of like a hobo clown, but a character clown is when you take upon a character. So Bob was like a cowboy clown. Cute. And then there's um it's been so long. 
white face clowns, which you know, you know, the all the white face, they're usually mine. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't I wouldn't make a good mine. Oh uh, <laughs> Sheila, Shelly Ann wants you to hold your jar up to the camera closer a minute. And are you have you done the transfers? They want to know how I the transfers. I did, and some of like this little bee came out really good, um, but I don't think they work as well on a jar as they would a piece of wood. Here's the bloom that was on there. Here's the little, here's the little paper. Oh, okay. So you get all of these, but I think I'm going to try these on a piece of wood because they don't show up as well on here. Here's the other bee, and it kind of. They're hard to do on the jar, so I, but I do sand my jar off, and I did. This one came out really cute. And then somebody said that Bob made a cute dog. Oh yeah, a balloon a dog. Yeah, he's not home, or I would have got you. He's at work. I would have got him to do it. <laughs> see, we find out things about the whole family. Yeah. So tell us something other than nickel mines that. Sudbury or the area, the region of Canada that you live in, something interesting or another fun fact? Um, there was one, um, one mine, uh, Copper Cliff Mine. <coughs> they have, um, because of the smoke, nothing grew on our rocks because of the sulfur. So, Years ago, um, in the early 80s, they started putting limes on, lime on the rocks. So we have tons of trees now. But before that, the say that's a, a stack from the, the mines, the smoke would just come and, and fall. So they made a, it's called a super stack. Marianne, it was the tallest something, Marianne will tell you. So they made a huge super stack. And uh, when they were making it, um, so it was like probably double the size of normal stacks. Anyways, when they were making it, a tornado came through. Oh, no. And, and the men were up there working. <gasps> I, I think only, I don't know, I only think one guy fell. But I mean, oh, can you imagine being so high and a friggin', what are you going to do? Yeah, like, no, pl no place to go. Yeah. And then we mm. have um, we have like museums like a, it's called Science North. It's amazing. It has a huge replica bones of a dinosaur, like a T-Rex, and it goes from the bottom floor to the third floor. That's how big it is, and it, so it goes around it. And it's Science North, so they have mining stuff, they have fossils, they have, oh, a bed of nails you can lay on. Um, wow. They, they have a, a live beaver in there you can look at. They have, um, and it's all in the shape. If you look, if you look it up, Science North, if you look at it from the air, it is a shape of a snowflake. Oh, it's wow. Really yeah, it's really cool. Now, Marianne said that the stack swung, swayed or swung 12 foot during the tornado. So it kind of gave, that's how tall it was that it gave with the thing. And it was built in 1970. Okay. And then I guess uh, Amy I said her grand, the grandkids were amazed that Bob could still blow up the balloons after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Shelly Ann said, I'm not so sure about the bed of nails. My back's bad enough. I don't know if I would like the bed of nails either. My daughter-in-law, when they came down and she went on it, she said, because you, you tense up, right? So, so you lay on the bed and then all of a sudden the bed goes down and the nails, like they, they releases the nails. She wasn't too comfortable. <laughs> I, I can was imagine. On it when I, I don't think kid. I would be comfortable with that. Sheila, yeah. what are you doing with the little sunflowers? I'm going to put them in my jar, but I, I was I was going to put them down in my jar. Gotcha. So I'm just kind of putting, getting them ready to put in there. It was a little easier to do them like this. I tried to put them in the jar, and then I said, oh, let me just do them this way. Yep. And so put me some little greenery and some sunflowers. So let's see. I think I had a question for Miss Judy. Um 
Uh, we've asked her so many things. Good grief. Let's see. Um, Judy, about how long does it take you to do a fan blade like the one you're doing from start to finish? Anywhere from an hour to two, three hours. On the average, an hour and a half. Hmm. And do you have a website or just a Facebook page or an Etsy shop? I do have an Etsy shop. A lot of my, there's some fan blades on it. A lot of my new stuff isn't on it because I just. So what else time. do you do besides the fan blades, Judy? Don't you do some um, jewelry? Let me. Yep. I got these on. I'll oh. show your earrings because your earrings are so pretty. Okay, I'll show you. Okay. I like those. So she may not get this fan blade done, everyone. But you know what? If she doesn't, she will finish it tomorrow on a live. That's She's real good about finishing stuff the yeah. next day if she needs to. And I know we're distracting her by asking her all That's this okay. crazy stuff. If you, have, if you like, don't follow Judy, make sure that you follow her. You will not be disappointed. She's, she is fun. When I share, I don't remember. I think I started watching Judy before I, I got, uh, before I met Cheryl. But mm. I was watching her one day and I just laughed the whole time that I was on. And I thought, now this lady <laughs> is fun. I like watching her. So she is fun. We have a Santa with a black beard. He almost reminds me of, um, What's the guy who just went to court? Um, oh, um, oh, I can't Johnny Depp. Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, we, yeah. We have one with a white beard. And then we have a candy corn. I love this guy. I think Johnny Depp is a cutie. <laughs> I like that rugged look. Although my husband is not like that. Uh, my husband is not rugged like that. Bob has his days. Hunting season, yes. <laughs> my husband is from New York, so he is a, a oh, little okay. bit preppy. So we have nurses. We have Those a Jamaican so uh, cute. a Jamaican guy. You're going to put made those some, on your uh, Etsy shop, Judy? They never made it there yet. But you're going to put them there and they could find them there? Yes, sir. Contact me. Uh, What do you call these? Pine bows? Yep. Yep. That. And um, somebody else is asking about the globe that you made the other day. Do you have that close by? Oh. <laughs> I want to make a big one like him. Oh, my God. Yes. He was so cute. Like I said, Judy can take anything and make it adorable, guys. So be sure she and put, check she out. She has all this paint out, and she'll have mixed colors everywhere, and she'll, she'll keep squirting out paint, and I'm thinking, you just watch her with all that paint, and she uses it, and she has it all in her, her gnomes and things and her Santa. She does such a good job with that. And most of us crafters always put out too much paint. I am amazed at the little amount of paint that Judy puts out and what she gets out of it, guys. So if you mm -hmm. ever think that you put out too much paint all the time, you have to watch her and figure out how she does it. I don't know yet. So Okay. Wait, it came apart. First, I'll show you. What, it was uh, <coughs> Santa in July or something? Or? Christmas Anyways. in July. Christmas in July. Oh, that's what it was. So he's a little nudie. He's got a <laughs> scent. Okay. Wait, the best part's yet to come. His bootay with the heart on it. Look at his bootay. So I put it in a stand. And I had one of these, whatever they're called. I got stickers from the dollar store. I took a leaf. From a flower arrangement. I should put lights in it, tell you the truth. Fairy lights would be cute in it. Yeah. Well, Sheila, that's cute. I oh, I like to put that. A on here. This is from a uh, decapage net because I had a piece left and I thought, why not put that on there? That's cute. So this is. What There's the one in the dome. That's the one I like. That was cute. Yeah. And then I did, uh, I do jars. Oh, that's pretty. And then like, 
I put an acorn on the top and I did a jute. Um, I like to do spoons. I do a lot of American stuff because most of my customers are American. Okay. I did that. Judy, if you could go if you could go to any of the states in America, where would you like to go and visit? Um where John F. Kennedy's from, that beach, the is it Maine or is it Massachusetts? Yeah, that beach seems so beautiful and the houses and the architecture. Yeah. It seems, it seems so nice. I saw that a long time ago when I was a kid. And I go, oh, I'd like to go there. But there's so many places. Oh, my God. I don't know. But that always stuck out in my mind that no, to go there. But Judy I want to visit Canada, so. Yeah. <laughs> I've now, been there once, but I've only been to the Nova Scotia. Up oh, that I, way you know what? I've never Michigan. been that far. Yeah, I I've been, been from far. B.C. to Quebec. I haven't been to the East Coast, and I'd love to go there, but I haven't made it there yet. Now, if you'll <laughs> notice, Judy has a T-shirt on that has one of her gnomes, and he's her howdy ho gnome. That's kind of her calling card. She had some um, T-shirts, some earrings, some face mask, yep. Um, yep. a whole bunch of things printed up with them. So she does have. They're that on my Etsy shop. shop. They're in her Etsy shop, so you guys can do that. Nantucket. Donahue says. Yeah. There. And then I did these tassels. Those are cute for a tiered tray. And there's like the howdy hole guy. These you can't get nowhere because where I get my stuff from is Alberta. And I asked her, I sent her a picture of this. And I said, can you design me one? <laughs> and she made me these. Oh, cool. And then I make like these that's the back. These turn into like keychains. And then this is an order I'm working on. Um, these are uh, ornaments. Oh, that's. Oh, wow, the little slices. Yeah. So I'm working on those. Those are darling. Sheila, are you Mod Podging the jar? I did Mod Podge, yes, but I did not iron it. I just Mod Podged and put it on with the napkin okay, and this side. Yeah, Marianne asked, so. Mm. Yeah, I just used Mod Podge. Mm -hmm. Judy just keeps showing her ornaments, but we that was a now, question that was for Sheila. This is going to have some wrinkles because you, you're going to, you know, it's it's a piece of paper, and it's it's not going to do as good as the rice paper, <laughs> but that's fine. I'm okay with the wrinkles. It makes it look older, so I'm fine with it. I'll put a little bit more distress oxide on it. I put my little flowers in here. I want to add a few more flowers, That's so it. I'm not going to be sitting all of them. For those that are on right now, be sure you can always catch us on Craft Around the Clock TV. You can always join that Facebook group. You can um, make sure you follow all three of us. And for a little while, we will be on every Thursday night, Sheila and I, and we will have a different uh, guest every week. And we'll be on at 6 Central <laughs> till 645 Central. So I know next week is Miss Frances Down. Uh, Frances Downs from uh, Vine and Silk Design. Thank you. I was going to put the design first, and I, I knew that was wrong. Was spit it out. Spit it out. And Sheila and I are going to take turns, probably asking questions. So next week I'll be crafting, and Sheila will be talking mostly. So, so I did this little ornament this week on a event. Oh, how precious. Oh, yes, the, I saw that. That one. Mary Joseph and the baby. I like the way you did it. I had not ever done it like that. That was really sweet. And I have these guys. They come Those are her their... paddles that she was talking about. They're pizza paddles. So for anybody that thinks it's another kind of paddle, it's not. It's that 13 uh, pieces and it changes, you know, for each month. Oh, yeah. Speaking of how I do recycled stuff. This okay, Vicky, have a good rest, honey. Thank you for coming. So, so I, Judy, I found do you, is it just you and your sister that have talent to do the artwork and things like that, or is there, did you get it from your mom or your dad? Oh no, or? I got it from my mom. My mom, my mom was she passed away on the twenty the twenty twenty. She lived with us, 
Um, she had a she had a breast cancer for thirty years ago, but it manifested into her lungs. Anyways, we got her to stay. Well, she lived with us for five years, and she passed at home because we didn't want her in the hospice because we nobody could go visit her, no. even in a hospice. You couldn't. Anyways, long story. So, um, she uh. She was an avid knitter. Oh, my God. She did baby sweaters. She did, you name it, cross-stitched, uh, embroidery, uh, crocheted. And All kinds everybody. of needlecrafts. Yeah, and I, I wish I would have had a pair. I, I would have brought them out. If you ever, if you saw certain mitts on people in town, you knew they were my mother's. Oh, because wow. Because she, um, she designed her own mitts. So there was, you could have them with fish, owls, birds. Her most famous one she was for was snowflakes. Um, you name it, she could put on a mitt. <laughs> yeah. And RJ Edward is saying, Judy, she's happy to see you here. And she loves all the variety of the things you make. Oh, thank you. So remember I did this one? This is... um. A, a change purse I got at a, a at a garage sale, so I used the buckle for a nose. Uh, see how cute! I love the colors on that one. Now, who and would then, ever think that? Oh wait, and then I did the howdy hole guy in the back, and then in the in the middle, I wrote, "Let's whoops, let's shop." There wouldn't be any money left in there if it was my wallet. <laughs> I didn't have any to start with. Yeah, I know. Me either. So then we did this one on another live. So this is a uh, pink one. That one. And I, I, I have to still paint one on here. Oh. And then I did the back. So when so you, you open it up, you're going to have one painted in there when you open it? Yeah. 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 And then you just seal it with, uh, I just use Verithane. Like I put three coats of Verithane on this and it's still soft. It's bendable. Oh, that's mm. nice. And yeah, what is it yeah. called? I use it. Because I know people are going to ask what that is. Oh, okay. I've yeah. seen that before. Yeah. 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 Now you do that on your fan blades soft. too, right? Yeah. 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 And then I'll show you a couple of my fan blades I do. So this one was for fall. Oh, oh how cute. A candy oh. corn guy. Yep. And then I did, um, whoops, there goes my earring. My thing came back. Um, I got these at the dollar store and then I painted them up. Almost out of time. This one. And then I do some 3D uh, fan blades, which are a lot of fun. So this is a nurse. <laughs> and I I use twine and I braided her hair. <laughs> Looks like a, a Pippi Longstock is a nurse. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is. That is precious. And then I just, sometimes I just paint like normal. Well, not brown world, but birdhouses. Now, her mm. sister, Marianne, is also a phenomenal artist. Too, oh, my so. God. Yeah. So do, you, do you get inspiration or you just think these up in your in your mind? You just see them somewhere and then you just make your own? No, I just think of it myself. Sometimes, okay, like this one, I used to toll paint. That's I think my sister got me into it because my sister was a toll painter way back when. Oh, my God. I mean, I paint, but she paints. Like, oh, my gosh. Anyway, so this is a toll painting I did. So oh, I, I need to toll paint again. It's so fun. I know, but it takes so long. Like this took me over a week. Yeah. You know, that's why I'd rather just freehand. I think you know, in toll the... painting, it's more of layers and that type. Of yes. Stuff. This is my, one of my favorites. Oh, oh I the love bumblebee. That. Yeah, I love yeah. that one. And this one is my favorite. And I can't believe it didn't sell. This is like my favorite one. All your oh, Americana looking so ones. cute. Yeah. So I do things like that, you know, and then I did a ladybug. So if any of y'all are interested in anything that you see that Judy has, send her a personal message and oh, yeah. she'll get with you. Just send it to her page on her message and she'll get back with you. 
And Sheila, show us your finished little thing. Judy didn't get her Santa Claus thing done because we kept interrupting her. Sorry, That's Judy. okay. I put some uh, distressed oxide on it as well. Y'all know how I like that. I love that. Oh, that looks book. nice. And then I put a little bee here on the front on the beehive. Now, the beehive was a little harder going down, but I did it did fine. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect and it's got some wrinkles. I, I earned my wrinkles. And then I just stuck some sunflowers in here. You can stick anything you want in here, but I love the little sunflowers in the jars. And I make jars of all colors and all kinds, and I do them for every season. And then oh, I nice. just change them out and do things with them. Now, guys, just so you know, we will be going off the air for Craft Around the Clock because there'll be other craft, uh, another crafter that comes on behind. But next week, like I said, is Frances on with Craft Crush. And Judy will finish her gnome uh, fan blade tomorrow, probably on a live. Judy is on at least once, sometimes three times a day. So just set your notifications for her. Follow her page. And I know she will appreciate it. Um, so you guys, we want to thank you guys for all being here and listening to us. If you think of any other things, Judy, what is the name of your Etsy shop? Why it, what not? So is it just like your Facebook page? Yeah. So just, okay. Yeah. So it's W. If you go to my, if you go to my Facebook page, um, there's a button you can push and it'll take you there. Okay. And if you missed the links to all of our pages, Miss Tracy had posted them way back up at the beginning of the uh, video in the comments. So you guys could scroll back up and find those. And we want to thank you, Judy, for taking time out of your evening and oh, thank spending you. time with us. And Sheila and I greatly appreciate you. Oh, thank you. It was so much fun. We had fun. You are. We were crushing you tonight, girlfriend. I've got some things about you I didn't know. So I'm excited to learn more about you. I just know that you make me laugh and smile when I watch you. And I appreciate <laughs> oh, thank that. You. And see, that's why she was a clown. She made everybody laugh. So. <laughs> Do you guys yep. have a good night? We all love you. We want you to have an awesome time and enjoy crafting. Bye, all guys. Right, thank you. Bye, Bye. Bye. Take care. See you next time.